Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Animate Orange where I build a lot of 3D metal models and show you how I do it. Today, on the table, another Legends model, I have last of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Groot. No particular reason to put him off to last, I've just kind of grabbed them and done them as they were stacked up on my shelf and this is the last one. Really enjoyed the new Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Legends models, the way that they come together, the design change, and the way the body and legs do them together. I, I keep saying this over and over. It's just wonderful. So much easier to do than when they originally came out. And if you're building the other Legends models, you may end up getting one of the newer designs because they redesigned the old ones as well. And you may have a newer one that has this this style, the way that it comes together. If so, congratulations. So much more fun to build. You maybe take a look right here. One of the other ways to tell is it's not quite as glossy as the older. The metal is more of a semi-gloss, which I think looks better. Anyway, enough talking about it. Let's open this guy up, put him together. It looks like he's going to be very similar to what I've already done. Head's a bit different though. A little bit, I don't know, thorny. Let's open it up, see what's inside, and put it together. And we have Groot. Open this up take a look at what's inside. I pretty much know what to expect at this point. We have our one semi-gloss metal sheet of Groot's individual parts. And we have one set of instructions. Open this up. Go over this rather briefly. Blank on the back. Not much to it. All the instructions are on the front. I'm going to fold it in half so it fits on the screen. So if you've built any of these models before, you already know how this goes, but if this is your first model, you decide to start with Groot, go over the instructions rather briefly. It's not, it looks like a lot to it, but it's really not that much. Start off with your logo here on the top left corner, what is considered page one, and you've got a light drawing of Groot in one of the sheets, and that same sheet drawn right beside it. That's a bit silly, but here you go. Basically all the parts are numbered and it shows you where the parts are on the sheet so that you can easily find them, clip them out, and put them together. Below that you have a sample part, this is part of his head, with a notation about fold lines, insertion holes and insertion tabs, basically tabs go in holes, and fold lines and pre-scored areas to help with folding. And you've got a legend over here, blue circle, when you see that next to a connection point it means to insert a tab and fold it 90 degrees, green triangle means to insert and twist, I think the majority, if not all, of these are probably going to be folded tabs. And there's some notations about pulling and twisting to make them more secure. We've got the QR code here and a web address. You can scan this code, type in this address, either one, and it takes you to a website where you can see a 360 view of the finished model if you're having any questions about how something comes together or it's shaped. And then below that starts the assembly flowchart with part one and an indication of folding it. And the red is supposed to indicate that you're folding this part, although they're not completely consistent. As you can almost see here, this part is folded in half, but there's no red. But then this part is red and kind of folded, so interpret it as best you can. It's not that hard to figure out once you've got the part in your hand and you're shaping it. But you just follow this to shape it and end up with this part. Once you're done with that, jump to page 2 and continue on. You add on part 2 to the back come over here part three to the side and you're finished with that arm just follow through follow the folding and shaping and attaching directions to work your model together and get to the bottom of page two or halfway through the page you jump down to the bottom left corner for page three pick up folding the body and legs torso and legs I guess you get to the bottom of that jump over to four you're almost done once you get to the bottom you are finished and complete with your model. Let's take a moment to talk about tools. This is a very basic set of tools that I use in pretty much every build. I've got a very standard set of tweezers that I use very frequently. I've got some precision tweezers, a, another flat set here, and a couple of pointed tweezers, one of which I've ground the tip down just a bit to make it a little flatter for grabbing tabs. I have clippers that I use to get the parts off of the sheets quickly and easily. It's better than bending and trying to break them off. And then a couple of different pliers, a flat nose set and a long needle nose plier set. They come in handy for bending in different situations. Talked briefly about some tools. There's not much to making this model and I, I probably will end up using a dowel rod here in a moment to shape a couple of curves. 
But beyond that, I've got my basic tools to get me started. We've got our sheet and our instructions. Let's put this together. Groot's arms are a bit unique, especially his hands, but not hard to shape and not that different from some previously built models.
Folding the legs is easy. Just fold up the feet. Fold up one side of the leg and push in the side of the foot over the tab securing the tab. Fold up the other side of the leg, pushing the side of the foot in over the tab like before and securing. Put a little bend in the side of the leg and then bend over the front of the leg and over the tabs, securing. Then bend the leg over onto the back of the leg and securing that tab as well. With this part, be sure to put the wider end towards the rear. And also this part as well, wider end goes at the rear.
And the gang's all here. Groot. Groot did not take that long. Did not take that long at all. It was only about 30 minutes to put him together. Pretty simple guy. Uh, the head and the arms are quite a bit different. The head's easier to do because you don't have that folded over section that you have to kind of hold the tabs just right. Not that that's challenging, but slightly easier to do. The arms are different because of his hands being the way they are, but Otherwise, pretty much the same Legends model. Still loving this new design of the Guardians of the Galaxy ones came out with, with the body and legs all being one piece. So much easier to fold and shape that new design. Still loving the slightly semi-gloss painting style that it, that it has. It's a little more... I don't want to say realistic, but it just fits better. It just seems to work better than that overly glossy previous look. Now I have the complete set of the Guardians of the Galaxy model, so very cool. I can put them all on display together, and they were pretty quick and easy to build. Fun little collector thing, hands-on collector thing. Not one of those little toys you buy off the shelf, shell out some bucks for, and just look at it. This is something I actually made with my own hands, and there's a certain appreciation for that if you're a crafty person like me if you're hands-on make it yourself person like me there's something extra special about these little collectible models getting them shaping them and putting them together yourself pretty neat i'll leave it at that if you have any questions or comments as always feel free to leave them down below if you enjoy these videos consider becoming a patreon supporter there's a link in the description down below as well at the very end of this video and also in the description is linked for Ko-Fi if you just want to give a small tip. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.